You need your gown length 38. This gown length is your choice. I want mine to be 38, so you can make yours longer or shorter. Then the bust measurement 44, the hip measurement 48, the shoulder measurement 16, and the sleeve is 13. Okay, so the amount of fabric that you're going to be needing is your hip measurement plus five inches you can do more than five inches it totally depends on how free you want your rope to be okay so 48 plus five inches will give me 53 inches now for the sleeves it's it's going to have a kimono like sleeve like uh, it's cut with the shoulder okay so there is no sleeve attached the sleeve is being cut together with the main main bodies okay so this sleeve measurement we are going to add it to our shoulder measurement on fold our shoulder is 16 and the measurement on fold is 8 plus 13 inches and it's going to give us um 21 inches okay so let's get to the cutting table hi guys so like i said earlier on this rope is going to be cut with the shoulder okay so um all you need to do is to take your shoulder measurement mine is eight okay then you take your sleeve length so does my sleeve is 13 oops my fabric won't be enough so i'm going to just take 11 and half then you come down your arm hole your normal arm or if your normal arm hole is um is eight you should come down by one and a half inches extra so it to be free it's not a fitted gown or you know it's a light wear so it should be free so i'm using i'm going to be using ten and a half for mine okay so from this ten and a half i'll impute my bust oh, sorry my hip measurement my hip measurement is um 48 plus the five like we talked about is um 53 so dividing it by four will give us 13.25 but i'm going to make mine 14 all together okay so i'm going to take that 14 down this DIY, you can do it, you can finish it under few minutes. It's, it's not a big, it's not a big deal. So just connect your lines together. There is no, no need for the shaping or you can add a little bit ease. If the five inches is not much for you, like I've decided just now to add extra. But I'm connecting it directly to the first one. And here you have it. So this is how you're going to cut. Like this. And you cut out this. Okay. So for the neckline, my back neckline, I'm going to take one inch. Just one. One inch for the back neckline, and um, that is the length, the depth rather. One inch. And for the width, I'm going to make it three and a half inches because there is going to be a band at the collar, so I wouldn't want my neck to be too wide. So 
so guys from this neckline you have to slant you have to come down here by one inch or half inch depending on how broad you are so from this um sh this three and a half by one inch at this point of three and a half just come down from here by one inch and connect it that is your shoulder slant to give it more fitting though it's a free clothes but it should have a fitting at the neckline it's a simple thing and there you have it so after cutting this out i'm going to cut out the neckline for the front so let's just give this place a bit curve so you cut So you cut the left line too. So having gotten this shape, you're going to remove the front and the back. You're going to separate them. The back is already. We are done with the back, so let's remove the one and replace the other one on fold so you're going to come down by maybe six seven eight to nine inches depending on what you want to form your v neckline So that's the next line for the front and after cutting it out you're going to slash the front open okay so slash the front open and there you have it so this is your front pattern and this is your back so the next thing to do is to cut out your band the collar band and also the the rope to tie it at the waist so you can just take your tape rule and tie around your waist take your tape rule tie it around your waist and know the length of which you want for the waist band okay then for the neck the length of the neck this is what you have to do sorry the light just went off okay so just for the neck all you need to do is to measure out the length from here down to the neck here to the neck point you double it just cut a very very long rope that you will use to from here to come from here then cross to the back down okay about two inches is okay so you use one and a half inch for joining and to the remaining one and a half inches all right so i'll cut that out and see you guys on the sewing machine hi guys so this is our cut out this is what we cut out the last time so this is the front part you see the big part and um, this is the back all right and um this is my rope my belt rather it's four inches wide wide it's four inches wide so when i 
uh, close it up it's two inches on fold and this for the color this is two inches wide so when i when i close it up it's one inch i already ironed them so we're going to be sewing all these together now so basically this is what i'm going to do to make this video very short this is the back this is the right side okay so i'll place the right side of the front on it so basically i i place right side to right side and this is what we are going to sew i'm going to sew it on the sewing machine now we are going to sew here the shoulder part then the arm all down i will do the same for the other side so basically that's what i will do now and i'll show you guys what it looks like after sewing all right hey guys so i finished joining the the sides and the shoulder and this is what it looks like then you give it a nice press so the next thing to do now when you give it a nice press you try to weave out all these rough edges so the next thing to do now is to attach the collar and it's very very simple this dress you can make it under 15 minutes after cutting so you pick up your collar and you cut as long as as much as you can get so that you won't stop halfway so when you pick up your collar make sure it's up to from this edge straight down to the other edge so that's how you're going to fix this like this you fix your collar like this You hold it like this and so straight down to this edge so when it, by the time you turn it it's going to be looking like this you know something like this okay and you can top stitch it if you finish so i'll go right now to sew it on the sewing machine and i'll show you guys what it looks like and also i'm going to sew this end like a normal belt you know sew it inside out Show it from the inside and turn it out like a normal belt and I will show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alright? Hi guys, so this is the bridal rope and this is the neckline. Can you see? After attaching the the collar, I had to top stitch it. Okay? Can you see the V neck? If you want it a bit lower, you can make yours a bit lower. And this is my belt you can cut as long as you want and give it a nice press this is the sleeve if you don't want to have any join in here you can attach your sleeve separately if you don't want it if you don't want to have joining at the shoulder side you can attach your sleeve separately but this one is also nice so this is it please kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos share my videos leave your comments in the comment section below and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video all right i'll be taking us through bridal series this time it is end of the year so you can use it to sew for your bride you can use it to sew for your little bride you can use it to sew your children's wear this is the previous video we made okay so if you haven't watched this um, ball gown please go and watch it it will help you to make your kids x marks wear all right so see you guys later bye